Item number SCP-179 Object Class Army Formerly Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-179 remains beyond the reach of currently known groups of interest, including the Foundation. All containment efforts are to be focused towards a Grade 3 omission cover-up, coupled with the discouragement or sabotage of exploration and research missions that attempt to study this Mercurian space and orbits that go through it. Description SCP-179 is a humanoid entity located at a constant distance of approximately 40,000 kilometers from the South Polar region of the solar photosphere, locked to the rotation axis of Sol. However, it does not orbit it. The most recent recordings of SCP-179 indicate that it seems to maintain a continuous orbit around the center of the galaxy. Through the combined effort of 43 years of continuous surveillance, the external appearance of SCP-179 has been defined as a human female of undetermined ethnic group of between 20 and 40 years of age. Its entire bodily surface is covered in or composed Matte black material. Its hair appears to be composed of this material. Measures over 34 kilometers long and is constantly pushed away by solar wind. However, this part of SCP-179 seems to reflect verbal amounts of sunlight. This reflection being the phenomenon that indicated its existence to Foundation astrophysicists during 1940. Several markings or tattoos are placed throughout its bodily midline. Judging from the brightness, these markings might be of metallic composition and of a golden hue. These tattoos include several symbols that have been identified as those typically representing the sun and the six innermost planets of the solar system, according to medieval alchemy, including in this order the symbol of gold in the subject's forehead, right beneath the hairline, the symbol of mercury under the nose, circling both lips, the symbol of copper between the medial lines of its clavicles. Datorix Bunch, Auto Sensor Level SC4, Non-Trivial Cognito Hazard Detected, with the anatomically correct shape of a human heart placed over the location where a heart would be in a female human, with the same apparent age and bodily proportions. The symbol of iron on the upper abdominal region. Symbol of tin in the lower abdominal region. Part of the final symbol in the pelvic region. While the anatomy of this region makes its clear observation difficult, it has been hypothesized that the symbol of lead is also present and complete in the perineum region. SCP-179 keeps its ventral side oriented towards Earth most of the time, but it has been observed to look towards other areas on occasion. Redacted. All further data redacted as per Administrative Warnings, ES-026. Administrative Warning, ES-026. As of BEEP, SCP-179 has been reclassified calmly. All involved personnel with a clearance level below 4 will be either promoted or reassigned to fit this new classification, depending on the relevance for the continuous surveillance and cover-up operations as directed by the current head researcher for SCP-179. All reassigned personnel will be subject to Polymath 08 Memory Reduction Therapy, or D-Class Amnestics, or D-Class Amnestics, and a high dosage grade with a maximum retrograde effect of 10 years of experience. Depending on the time working in SCP-179 prior to its reclassification, SCP-179's existence will be subject to an orbital misinformation, standardized intelligence obstruction, and neutralization campaign. As per Omission Protocol 4, items 4.5, 4.6, and 4.7, most documentation related to SCP-179 has been classified Level 4. Any further data related to SCP-179 has been classified Level 5 and will be made available only to authorized Level 5 personnel. Be advised that 
Unauthorized access to SCP-179 research materials will be considered a Type 3B offense. Unauthorized data management while lacking appropriate global clearance. Punishable by compulsory memory reduction therapy with immediate reassignment and or demotion. Warning! Unauthorized personnel will be exposed to a memetic defense agent. Generating memetic defense. Gestalt Abid Earth Active. SCP-179 is sensitive to all radiation in the electromagnetic spectrum, intelligent and able to communicate through multiple anomalous means, including but not limited to radio and laser communications interference. Only one instance of SCP-179 communication with Foundation personnel has occurred thus far where SCP-179 proved to be fluent in French, as this contact did not result in a clear statement of SCP-179's intentions towards the Foundation and its mission. All efforts must be made to prevent contact by any known groups of interest with SCP-179. Misinformation operations and other preemptive measures have been deployed. Most recorded Movements performed by SCP-179 have been related to extraterrestrial threats, both anomalous and non-anomalous in nature, on a collision or orbital insertion course with the Earth. These threatening items have been identified as capable of causing CK-class reconfiguration events of diverse impact on human societies and earthly life in general if allowed to reach Earth. If impact with Earth or orbital insertion occurs without proper response and containment by Foundation operatives, these items of interest may be capable of causing XK-class end-of-the-world scenarios. SCP-179 will usually address an item or items of interest by pointing at them with an arm and when more than one item of interest is present, will be able to generate multiple limbs anatomically identical to its arms, if needed. Survey data indicates that SCP-179 performs other motions specific to each item of interest addressed, such as raising different fingers or moving its arms and an A as of yet undecipherable patterns at fixed intervals. But whether these motions contain any information or not has not been determined to date. The limits of SCP-179's detection capacities have not been clearly ascertained. While SCP-179 has been able to detect potentially harmful objects beyond the Transneptunian region, those threats have been detected by other surveillances and exploration systems, usually under Foundation control, or and at least three separate instances were visible to the naked eye from Earth. However, they have not been immediately recognized as threats. It has been hypothesized that SCP-179 may only detect and react to active threats that remain detectable to other observing parties without the cis-Neptunian region, while being able to unerringly determine their harmful nature all items of interest approaching Earth within this Neptunian space that had considerable destructive capacity had been detected by SCP-179 without failure, often when no observers known to the Foundation were aware of them. As such, SCP-179 in all personnel, orbital equipment, and facilities dedicated to its surveillance remain the most reliable early warning system the Foundation possesses to detect and when possible, prevent potentially dangerous incursions within surveyed space. SCP-179 is able to determine which interplanetary objects pose a threat to Earth, humankind, or the Earthly biosphere, which makes it a critical asset for the Composite Orbital Early Warning System project of the Foundation, which currently involves SCP beep, 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 and beep. XCPOA 3-42, Site 34, Site 103, Site 98, Area 8, Site 8, Site 888, Site beep beep, 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 and 
Command side beep. As well as several personnel embedded within different space agencies and international consortia related to space exploration. All data of interest related to or obtained through SCP-179 will be marked C-O-E-W-S-179, which will be considered high priority information to all Foundation departments. Addendum SCP-179-01 Notable Movements of SCP-179 13th of December, 1940 First recorded movement of SCP-179, the entity that had remained with both arms crossed, raises an arm towards a previously undetected and penetrated object on a collision course with Earth. After its impact, an event that damaged the city of Data Expunge extensively with large quantities of anonymous mucus secretion and left more than 1,300 dead which, combined with the anomalous phenomena related to redacted as per previous expungement, remaining central item reclassified SCP Beep. SCP-179 returned to its original position. The 22nd of September, 1942. Sixth recorded movement of SCP-179. The entity raises an arm towards redacted on a collision course with Earth. Item of interest crashes nearby Auckland, New Zealand on the 4th of October, 1942. Item separates upon impact into several devices of mechanical nature. Data expunged recently formed sub-entities with minimal civilian casualties. Once Foundation operatives contain the item proper, which is reclassified redacted, and terminating most sub-entities, SCP-179 returns to its original position. Mobile task forces redacted all data on involved assets expunged from records. Proceeds to track and destroy all remaining sub-entities. Beep. 19 Beep. 18th recorded movement of SCP-179. The entity raises the right arm towards data expunge. Up to this date, the entity has kept one of its primary arms shifting from one to the other as necessary, pointing in the same direction. 1st of March, 1949. 23rd recorded movement of SCP-179. The entity raises an arm towards an armor-class asteroid, which that has adapted a collision course with Earth. The Foundation uses a combination of several SCP objects to launch a remote-controlled Interplanetary vehicle that acts as a gravitatory tow line. This mission is announced as success on the 3rd of May, 1951. At this time, SCP-179 returns to its original position. Note, surveying elements observed that the entity performed a motion that could have been a nod. Reclassification request to Euclid status filed and denied. 13th of September. 403rd recorded movement of SCP-179. The entity stops watching the Earth for two days and 13 hours when it looks towards the Jovian system. Once this interval is over, SCP-179 looks at Earth again. 9th of September, 2002. 487th recorded movement of SCP-179. SCP-179 points at an armed Type 11 dimensional weapon further redacted on XCP-11DW, expunged as per 0511 Executive Command, launched from Area 08 to test SCP-179's detection capacities. Item remains in a prime configuration for beep minutes, ready to be launched at a test location on Earth. It is not identified by SCP-179 until it is... 3,670 kilometers above the Earth's surface when SCP-179 acts to it as a threat and points at it. The device subsequently reconfigured to a standby configuration and redirected towards its primary target, Data Expunge, still in transit from the Kuiper Belt. SCP-179 returns to its previous position. 16th of October, 2003 Contact with SCP-179 is achieved via the Beep-2 probe, 
Subsequent movements registered in addendum SCP-17902. SCP-179 reclassified thalmu. See addendum SCP-17902. Addendum SCP-17902. Events of 16th of October 2003. SCP-179 was first approached by the Beep-2 probe, a microsatellite equipped with multiple recording, analysis, and communications devices incorporated into the beep probe in a clandestine operation. The beep probe acted as a relay for the beep-2 probe in Foundation Mission Control. Contact and communication with the entity were not foreseen nor programmed. When visual contact with SCP-179 was established, obtaining an unprecedentedly clear and very high-resolution image of its surface, the entity began to move its lips, forming the phonemes of a reading in spoken French. What remains is a complete translation of the exchange. Hello, I'm the lookout. My name is Sol Cesar. Do you like my brother? I like him too. He is big, so big, and so very warm. If they want to talk to me, Please use your satellite to leave talk to me. It'll be easier than coming here. Probably. Researchers assigned to SCP-179 detect this movement. Level 3 researcher Thomas Graham, who is fluent in French, is selected by head researcher Redacted to conduct a possible exchange with SCP-179. The beep tube probe is used as a radio relay from this point onward. SCP-179 is able to receive, understand, and transmit radio communications. SCP-179's transmissions reads as a monotone, featureless human voice that speaks in French. The subsequent exchange occurs with a 16 minutes and 39.6 seconds delay between each message. Corresponding to the distance between SCP-179 and Earth and Return, that will be omitted in the rest of this document. Who are you? My name is Sosasar. I am the lookout. I behold. I often see. I often warn. Almost always, and I have to. That way, it is for the life. What do you mean, lookout? It's me. We have noticed the significance of your movements. Who do you report to? To those who know where to look. To you. To those who want to look. Not just you, but you too. When you say brother, are you referring to the sun? He is my brother, so he warms me up. He is carrying fire and loving light. He caresses me with his ox and his voice in me news me. He is the source of all true light. He is your source. Where do you come from? I was born a child. For how long have you been in your current location? I do not want to tell you. How do you reach your position? How do you acquire the properties you currently possess? I was grown into a woman. This is how I live now. Could you give us further details, please? No. We would like to know more about you. Why not tell us? I am sorry. I won't be yours. I can't belong to any person. The Foundation's work protects all of humanity, all life on Earth. Don't you find this work of the greatest importance? Yes, I am doing it. Look upon me and know. If we have understood your capacities correctly, we believe you could do far more than that. Sharing all the information you have, not just about the dangerous threats against humankind on Earth, could be of great benefit to all parts involved. I am too big 
and you are too small. There is a sea of nothing, and islands of light. I am the shore. To you come the monsters, the pounding fists of void, the longing gods beyond our knowledge. I am the lookout. I see the ripples in the wake. You want me to pledge my sight no to you, only to you, so you, only you, can be greater. Even if you find, restrain, defend, you want me to be yours. That is not why I am here. There are others. Others I assist. Others I warn. Others beyond your thin walls of grey, dry, paste rock. Others beyond the reach of your weary satellites. Others beyond the home, our home. Others that came before and over all. Others beyond the little walls of rules and bone and laws and flesh and memories and oaths you, you built around yourselves until you don't even remember them. Others I love dearly. And yet only my brother is an equal to me. Excuse me, I don't understand what you mean by others. Could you please explain yourself with other words? But I have no words left. Closing. Despite several communication attempts, SCP-179 did not perform any other movements nor transmit other messages. Up to this date, SCP-179 has not responded to any message coming from any Foundation contact team or any other efforts from known groups of interests.